new videos every day. Psyche Truth. Life. Wisdom. Hi, this is Courtney, and you're watching Power Yoga for Beginners. This is a sequence that goes through different stages, so please practice along with the whole thing and build your endurance with me. We'll start at the top of our mat. Bring your feet width apart, or bring the insteps of your feet to touch. We're gonna bend your knees to sit the hips back and down closer towards your heels. You can lift your arms gently up overhead and then bring the palms back to the center of the heart, exhaling here. So we just simply move the hands, inhale, reach the arms up, sit deep, exhale, bring the hands back to the heart, pulse gently up out of the legs and continue. So getting ready to go to LA with Karina, Psyche Truth for a conference called Take Back Your Health. I'm gonna be teaching yoga there. And I've been to LA a few times, done a lot of yoga training and other things. This will be Karina's first time to LA. So uh, if you have any tips from your own experience, you can leave us a comment, let us know. We're pretty psyched about it and uh, so have you been to LA? Do you want to go to LA? You want to meet us there? So after that little intro flow of chair pose, hope you're feeling nice and energized through your body and through your breath. We're going to sit again into chair pose, extending the arms up for one breath, inhale. And then bring the hands to the heart as you lift the hips, exhale. Fold over, touching the hands to the ground. And then inhale, perch your chest up over your arms. And again, fold, bowing the head towards the legs. Twice more, inhale, perch the chest forward over your arms. Exhale, bend the elbows and pull the chest in. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, palms to your heart. Bend at the knees, sit the hips down, reach the hands. Exhale, pull the hands down, straighten the legs, touch the earth, bowing. This time, let's pick up your right foot, step it to the back of your mat, find a runner's lunge. I like to lift onto my fingertips just to keep the energy up through my body not sinking down into the ground. And now plant your palms, step both feet together, and lift your hips for downward dog. I'm gonna lift both of my heels to really spike up my thighs, lifting the hips, and then shift the hips forward, shoulders forward over the wrists, lower your knees, bend your elbows to tuck your, into your chest, and lower the chest, and the chin to the ground, so you're in a little inchworm pose. Then pick up your knees, extend your feet behind you, forehead to the earth, shoulder blades on the back, inhale, lift the heart and the head into a low or high cobra, exhale. We're gonna come back into our little inchworm and press up onto the arms and back into the legs, downward facing dog. And pick up your right foot and bring the foot forward in between your hands, finding a runner's lunge. And then drag the left foot up to meet the right foot, forward folding. Inhale, rising tall. Palms to the chest, exhale. Again, bring the feet together, sit the hips down, stretch the arms, and forward fold. Bowing to touch the earth. Send the chest forward. Now pick up the left foot, step it into a lunge. Step the right foot back to meet downward dog. Pick up your heels, 
roll the body forward, lower the knees, chest and the chin. Then slither onto your thighs and your belly. Shoulders roll into the back of your chest. Press into the knuckles. Press into the circumference of your palms to lift into cobra, back into your inchworm. And downward facing dog, building the upper body. Pick up your left foot, runner's lunge, and then drag the right foot to meet. Inhaling, rise to stand. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. So that was a round of sun salutations to warm up the body. And now inhale into chair pose. Hold your chair pose. Bring your hands right down in front of your shoulders. Roll the shoulders into the back of the body a couple of times. So we're building stability in the lower body and stability of the shoulder blades plugging into the back of the chest. You can bring your palms open now. The cactus arms, the desert, palm springs. And then reach your arms up alongside your ears. So you're strengthening the muscles of your back. Exhale, hands to your heart, forward fold, touching the ground. Inhale, gaze forward, and step both feet back now into downward facing dog. From downward dog, I'd like for you to lift your shoulders onto your back, widen your elbows, bend your knees, and now draw your elbows down towards the mat and back towards your heels. Keep the shoulder blades locked into the back of your chest and lengthen your back as you press through your hands and your feet. Then bring your right foot forward into a runner's lunge. You're gonna reach the arms out to the sides, up overhead, and then pull the hands down right into the heart center. Hover your left knee over the earth. Widen the arms, find those cactus arms, straightening your back leg. And then drawing the energy through your back, up into the fingertips meet. Exhale, hands touch the ground. Plank pose, lower the body. You can touch the earth or hover, cobra or upward dog. And then you return to downward facing dog. Left foot steps forward. Reach the arms open and up overhead, finding a high lunge. Bring the hands to your heart. Hover your back knee over the earth. You're gonna reach your arms out wide, straightening the back leg, and then straightening the arms, lengthen through your back. Breathing in and breathing out. Touch the earth. Plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the body. All the way to the ground or hover as you open the heart and then return. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhale, and inhale. And then we're gonna bend the knees, lifting the heels. So both knees now hover over the mat. Find some buoyancy, heels to the hips. A few times building endurance in the thighs. And you're gonna step those feet Float them to the top of your mat. Forward fold and rise to stand. Exhale, palms to your heart, pausing here. Gather energy from the two hands, pressing together. Pull the shoulders into the back of the heart, supporting the back of the chest, breathing out and breathing in. 
Again, chair pose. Bend the knees. This time as you lift your hands, you're gonna turn the palms to face the front. Take your right hand around your left palm and side stretch. So you're elongating the left side of your body. Breathing, letting the right ear fall towards the right arm. And then coming back up, switch hands. So you take your left hand behind your right hand, wrap the fingers around the hand, side body stretch, elongating the right side of your body as you sit your hips back. You wanna tuck the tail, lift the navel, and stretch through the body. Back up to center, both arms enlivened up through and from the body. Exhale, bring the hands down to touch the earth. Inhale, gaze forward. Step straight back into plank pose this time, keeping the hips and the heart right over the ground. You can modify your chaturanga, hover the body, and then all the way to the ground or Upward dog. Exhale, we return. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in and out. Right foot steps forward. High lunge. We open the arms all the way up. Take the right hand behind the left hand. Grip onto the back of the palm. Side body stretch. You want to stay rooted through both feet. Lifting the navel, tucking the tail. And then switch to your other hand. Side body stretch. Let the head relax between the arms. And then both arms straight up. Bend your elbows, lock into the body and then lengthen the arms from the body through the fingertips. Exhale, bring the hands down to touch your choice of finding a rest or moving through. Upward dog, and we back in downward dog. Left foot will step forward, rising into your high lunge. Anjani Asana. Take your left hand behind your right. Stay rooted in your legs. Stay lifted through your spine and then stretch to the side. And to the other side. And through center, bend your elbows to plug your arms down into your back and then lift through the body, through the arms and fingertips. Exhale, touch the earth. Step the feet back, lowering. <sighs> Inhale, opening. Exhale, return to Adho Mukha Svanasana. Breathing in your dog pose. And play with lifting the hands, pedaling the heels, and then plugging all four paws back into the ground. Lift the heels, bend the knees a couple of times. Maybe this time, a couple of times. actually kicking the heels up. Kick the heels or step the feet forward, rising to stand. So coming to the top, the heart, keep in mind this is 
power yoga and this is my third beginners video so if this is a little complicated go back to videos one and two where there's more detailed instruction feel free to watch the rest of the video or keep practicing whatever you do stay with the breath rest when you need to rest pulse when you need to pulse go back to previous videos favorite them keep watching we're gonna dive deeper and deeper 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 into utkatasana now bringing the fingertips right in front of the chest hovering the hips just closer to the heels i'm going to lift all 10 toes off of the ground really firing up the ankles keeping the back of the hips tucked forward to send energy up through the navel through the heart through the crown you can lift now onto your the balls of your feet bringing your hips to rest on your heels hands to the ground or hands to the heart keep the thighs squeezing together keep the tail tucking the heart rising and then we return to our deep seat our chair pose and our intense release and Uttkatasana rather Uttanasana standing forward fold inhale gaze out step both feet back into plank and chaturanga rising into cobra or upward dog and returning into downward dog for our final round right foot forward this time lower the back knee inhale reach the arms up lift the hips up gently exhale bring the hands through to the heart again inhale reach the arms up reach the hips up exhale bring the hands through to the heart last time inhale reaching up this time walk your right foot open two inches as you bring your hands down you're gonna sit your hips back and gently fold your chest to the inside of the right foot so you can lift the inner arch of the right foot get some more space through the hip you can also shift the hips forward getting a deeper stretch through your back leg inhaling exhaling maybe take a little twist right arm to the sky and then walk the hands back stretch the hips back elongate your front leg and then into a runner's lunge return we're gonna plant the hands send the right leg to the sky and downward dog splits and choose a vinyasa move forward into plank pose feel free to hover the right leg if you want as you lower to the ground inhale high or low cobra exhale returning to downward dog left foot forward back knee down Back knee down. Inhale, rise with the arms. Exhale, palms to the heart. Inhale, opening. Exhale, drawing in. Inhale, opening. Exhale, draw in. This time, walk your left foot open couple of inches bring your hands down to the inside of this foot bowing to your hands or with your elbows to the ground you can also shift the hips forward 
to lengthen the chest more out over the top of your mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Walking the hands back up. You're gonna stretch the hips back, elongating your front leg, and then return to your runner's lunge. Plant the palms. Lift the left leg to the sky, downward dog splits. You can keep the left leg hovering or plant both feet to the ground as you lower all the way to the earth. Inhale, cobra. Stay low, exhale, forehead back to the ground. Swing the hands beside the body, place the back of the hands on the mat. Lift the shoulder blades onto the back of your chest. Lift the toes off of the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. Maybe now lift the palms, interlace the fingers. Breathing in, your body should feel the breath as much as it feels the muscles. Unleash the arms out to the sides. Pull the elbows back into the chest. Rise, cobra, upward dog, and return. Downward dog, deeply relaxing into the breath. All right, breathing in dog pose. Now this time we're gonna step the right foot just halfway in. Send the left leg to the sky, shoulders right over the wrists. You can stay here, you can do little baby kicks. Hopping off of your right foot. Ooh. Hopping off of the right foot. And switch. Hopping now off of your left foot. Or just staying on the ground. Distributing the weight evenly around the surface of both. Bring the feet all the way to the top. Bow into the legs. Last time here, rise to stand. Exhale, bring the hands through to the heart. Have a seat now behind your heels. So we're just stretching out the legs here. Right leg extended forward, folding out. Inhale, both feet out. One foot in. So this is beginner's power yoga. How many times will you want to watch this video and practice it before you move into intermediate power yoga? You want to feel comfortable in each sequence. You might not be able to do everything. That's not, that's not what this is about. But about feeling comfortable, yes. You want to practice to the point where you feel a sense of security in your own body. You might never want to go up into a handstand. You might never want to bring both feet off of the ground. That's fine. You can still progress. But you want to stay in a sequence as long as it takes to feel the power moving through your own body, feel comfortable. And then you progress. So you always start from the beginning. When you go to level two, when you go to an intermediate class, you're going to be a beginner, right? So there's nothing easy ever about being a beginner. You're always in a, a practice of progress. <clears throat> so keep that close to you as you do this sequence. And let me know, of course, how the sequence 
unfolds for you, how it works for you. Go back to the other power yoga classes I've offered. Check out the tips at yogacurrent.com. <clears throat> We're going to lay down on the back now. And bring the right knee in. Lift the left foot up. And then extend the left foot straight towards the ceiling. And then extend the heel straight out over the top edge of your mat, just where you were standing before. Over the leg, over the top edge of the mat, and then bring the left knee in. Take your fingers around your left shin. Extend your right leg straight, fanning the toes. Flexing the right foot towards the ceiling and lower slowly the heel down out over the top edge of your mat. Hover that leg. So you're drawing up from the back of your hips down through the pit of your stomach. And then again, switch leg up and down and switch leg up and down and both knees in both feet up draw from the back of the hips up draw from the pit of the belly down put the elbows onto the ground lift your hips put your palms under your hips we're going to slowly lower the legs slowly slowly lower them as you press into your elbows, you can slowly elevate the heart. Drop the crown of the head back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Press through the elbows, lift the chest, lower your back body, place the feet close to your palms. You can lift into a bridge pose. You can also lift into a full wheel pose. And come out of your bridge, come out of your wheel. <clears throat> Slide the hands again under the hips, elbows close to the body, lift the legs, lower the legs, hovering them, lift up into the heart and draw the crown of the head back to the ground. Point the toes and then lift the chest, tuck the chin once again. Bridge your wheel. Go into bridge with you this time. Arms streamlining down the sides of the body. Hips rising. Pit of the belly dropping in close to the spine. Exhale. Bring the hips back to the heels last time hands under the hips lower the feet hover the legs lift the heart drop the crown back breathing in breathing out and lower all the way down now to the ground take a couple of twists with the right leg, cross it over to the left side of the body. Now this time we're gonna take the right arm, bring it around so you're on your left side, and then take a big circle with the right fingertips over the crown of the head, and then reach out with the right arm. I'm positioning both of my shoulder blades onto the back and the back 
behind to the mat. Go deeper into the twist if you want. both knees in and switch your twist left leg crosses over and what we do from here is we take this left hand walk it down so we're rolling onto our right side then we're sliding the fingertips over the crown of the head and out across the side again. So deep in the upper body twist, out of the legs. Compress your elbows into the ground, lift your chest, drop your left shoulder into your back more deeply to lay flat. I'm just gonna swing my bottom foot behind me to clasp it. Turn now both legs flat to the ground. Both arms out to the sides, finding our place of rest. Whole body resting on the ground. Inhaling and exhaling, finding peace. Finding love, finding the heart of your existence. As much time as you want in this sweet place of rest and then begin rolling your ankles your wrists wiggling your fingers sparkling your toes and we'll curl up into a little ball roll onto a side and press up finding a seat So in the seat, we're gonna tuck the chin, tuck the tail, exhale the body of breath. And release the belly to inhale. Level the head, bring the palms together, finding prayer pose. And radiating your practice throughout the rest of your day. More power to you. Namaste. So join us in LA. Thank you for watching and practicing. Visit me at yogacurrents.com for more blogs and lots of fun stuff coming your way there. And uh, favorite the video. Subscribe to Psyche Truth. And we'll see you very, very soon. Namaste.